your name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, DM me and see me after class. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this makeup look for Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is something that I really wanted to do last year but I didn't have the costume so I went ahead and I got it last winter and I'm finally able to showcase it for all of you as well as this makeup look. I definitely have a soft spot for Byleth. They're a teacher at the Garrick Mock Monastery in Fire Emblem Three Houses. They love to fish, they love to teach their students, and they love the house that they chose. Now, if you can't already tell, my favorite house is the Black Eagle House, where I got this beautiful flag from Dangerous Ladies. I'm so excited to showcase this makeup look as well as this costume for you today. Now, if you'd like to learn how I did this makeup look, well then, allow me to demonstrate! As always, I begin with my face already primed with a layer of foundation added. I'm going to start the process by priming my eyes with some eyeshadow primer. And then although the palette I'm using is known for having a little bit of fallout, I am going to add some concealer right underneath my eyes. The concealer I'm using is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 12S Fair. I also started with my contact lenses already in. I don't remember the exact name of the color, but the brand is called Uris, and I bought these from Pinky Paradise. And then, in order to protect my face against fallout from the eyeshadow, I'm going to apply some loose powder. For this, I'm using the MAC Loose Powder in the shade Invisible. And now I'm going in with my eyeshadow. The palette I'm going to be using today is called the Millennial Pinks Palette by Melt Cosmetics. And I'm going to start by dipping into the medium pink shade, Flamingo Dream. I'm using this as a foundation layer, so I'm going to be applying this from the lash line to about three quarters of the way up my eye toward my eyebrow. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same to the bottom lash. I'm going to dip again into the shade Flamingo Dream with the same big blending brush that I use. It's called the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Now I'm going to deepen up the pink a bit. I'm going to dip into the deep pink shade called Modern Love, and then I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom lash, only focusing on the outer corner. Now here is where the look is going to start to get fun. I feel like Byleth's signature shades, at least with female version Byleth, are pink and navy blue. And that's why I specifically chose this palette because it includes both colors. Now the color that I'm going to dip into on the outer corner of my eye is called GF, and it is the medium to deep blue. And for this, I'm going to use a slightly smaller brush. This one's called the Morphe M506 brush. Now I'm going to do the same underneath, again focusing only on the outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it in using my Sigma E40 brush, which is the larger blending brush. And now I'm going to deepen the blue shade just a little bit more. I'm going to dip into the deepest blue shade called Euphoria, and then I'm only going to focus on the outermost section of each eye, on the top and bottoms. Again, I'm going in with my smaller blending brush called Morphe M506. And then I'll blend that all in again. Now we're moving on to the fun part, which is adding a little bit of sparkle to this look. I'm going to go in to the pink shimmer shade called Mixed Emotions, and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eyelid. But first, in order to get the most out of the shimmer shade, I'm going to wet the brush. Now you can use regular old water if you want, but I'm going to go in with a setting spray. This one is the MAC Fix Plus Gold Light. Now I'm stippling this in using the Bodyography Pro Flat Shader Brush. Now I'm going to also apply just the smallest amount of it to the bottom lash near the middle, just for fun. And for the inner corner, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer as well. I'm going in with the blue silver shimmer shade called Moon Glow. I'm applying the color with a pencil brush. I've actually had this one for so long that the brand and type have been scratched off. And I'm going to blend all of this in one more time. 
And now we're ready to apply some false lashes. I'm going in with the Coco Lashes in the style Tease. And because it takes a while for a lash glue to get dry enough to be tacky enough to apply to the eye, what I do is I take my lash glue, this is the Duo Lash Glue, and I apply it to the pan. I do it in a slightly messy way, and then I go ahead and dip the lashes in when that's ready. Now because I need time to let that dry, I'm going to go in with an eyeliner first. I'm going to use the Glossier Pro Tip Eyeliner in the shade Black. And I'm only going to add a thin layer of this to help the lashes blend into my eyelid a little bit better. And to help to prepare the lashes, I'm going in with a layer of mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. Now if I've played my cards right, these lashes should be ready to apply. What I do is I will take the lashes with either my hands or a pair of tweezers, dip them into the glue, and then apply to the eye. Now I'm going to move on to my brows. Because the wig that I'm using is a deep midnight blue, I'm going in with an eye pencil that almost matches. This one is the Sephora Eye Pencil To Go in the shade Peacock Blue. You can blend that in with a brush if you so choose. The brush that I'm going in with is the Bodyography Pro Angled Liner Brush. And now it's time to move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to dust off that powder that we applied earlier with an Eco Tools powder brush. And I'm going to add just a tad bit more concealer. Especially with cosplay looks like this one, I really love to go in and really frame the face. And I do that with bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using today is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I go in and I indicate the bottom of my cheekbones to make it look like there is a more pronounced shadow. I frame my face from the forehead to underneath the chin, and in a moment I will do my nose as well, and I'll show you how I do that for this particular look. I'm going in with a ColourPop F513 brush. Now I'm going to bronze the nose a bit, and I'm going to do this a little bit differently than how I would normally contour a nose. Because Violet loves the outdoors and she tends to be very youthful, I'm going to be adding a little bit of this bronzer to the top of my nose and on either side of my eye. I'll go ahead and demonstrate here. I go across the top of my nose and then lightly dust either side to emulate a slightly sun-kissed look. You may even want to add freckles to this, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that this time around. And then I'm actually going to blend that in while adding a little bit of pressed powder. The powder that I'm using is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC10. And as always, use whichever shade works best for your skin tone. I'm going in with an Eco Tools powder brush. Now it's time to add a little bit of highlighter. You don't have to do this step, but I really love the glow that it gives you. The highlighter that I'm using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Umrezy Highlighter. And I'm going in right in the top of my cheekbones. You can also add a little bit of highlight to the tip of your nose and right above your cupid's bow if you so choose. Now that we're this far in, I'm going to add a little bit of setting spray. The one that I'm using is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And now that everything's mostly dry, I'm going to go in with one more layer of mascara. Now the very last part of this process are the lips. Now Byleth doesn't tend to have very pronounced lips, so you can definitely get creative with this step. I'm going to go in with a light pink shade and then a layer of lip gloss on top. The lipstick that I'm going with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade Dead Roses. Because this is a slightly deeper pink for my skin tone, I'm just going to lightly stipple in the color. And it gives me just the barest hint of pink, which is really what I want. Over top, I'm going to add this absolutely gorgeous gold-toned lip gloss. This one is from Pat McGrath Labs, and it's the Earth Angel Lust Gloss. I feel like I'm done in record time. Now this is the completed look. I'm going to throw on the wig in this normal lighting to show you a preview.
If your name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, DM me and see me after class. And this is the finished look with the wig on. Obviously I'm in her casual gear. Now I'll go ahead and put on the full costume for the final look. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to finally be able to share my love of Fire Emblem Three Houses with all of you. I know that Byleth isn't the most universally loved character, but at the same time, I love them a lot, and I was so happy to showcase this makeup look for you today. Now, what'd you think? Feel free to like and subscribe for more similar content, and comment down below to let me know your thoughts. As always, have a wonderful night or day wherever you are, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.